Do you know anybody that's fallen away from the church or no longer practices their faith? This gospel, the story of the prodigal son, which is how most of us know it, or better yet, the story of the forgiving father is a great invitation for you to reach out to them through the video to invite them back to the church, to invite them back to the sacraments. It's one of my favorite gospels. In my last parish, there was a statue outside the church of the forgiving father. And every day, people would walk by the statue to enter into the church. It's a great reminder how the father runs out to the son to, to bring him back into his mercy. You know, the progression of the gospel is a very powerful progression because it really celebrates how the father welcomes back the son, but how the son, this prodigal son, recognizes his offenses against God and against his dad. And he begins slowly to return his heart, his mind, back to his father. That's the invitation for all of us. And the witness is to return. But it isn't merely just to return, to sort of remain stuck in the sadness or the depression or memories of our past sins. Then begins the progression. My old spiritual director used to say to me, Father Dan, the real progression is not to remain the prodigal son throughout your whole life or even to stay stuck like the big brother but to become the loving father, the loving father who goes against that cultural reality of running out to his son, embracing him, and bringing him back to the merciful gift of God's love. That's ultimately the story and the banquet that celebrates. For those who are no longer practicing their faith, that's how much the church must be. That's how much, uh, that's how much the priest should react in their love for their prodigal sons and daughters by inviting them back and preparing them for the banquet of the Holy Eucharist. This week, I invite you to pray for one person you know that's struggling in their faith, but not only struggling in their faith, maybe because of some pain in their past or some disagreement with the church or some other struggle in their life, but to invite them back, to reach out to them, to say that God's love is there for them. And to try to go to that place of their pain and run there with God's grace and mercy. Remember, you and I are called to be like the prodigal son's father. To run out to our brothers and sisters. Because candidly, all of us know how others have run out to us. And brought us back into the merciful embrace of the Lord. As you live this week, remember that God's love is there waiting for you. Calling you back. May you remember your call to be the forgiving Father, and to love others as you have been loved. Have a great week. God bless you.